rather than here, you are distracted by so many things that that was been been happening your intention in the first place. So do you want some of the positive things about social media? No, I will admit that there are times when food does distract us. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, there are times when social media is being described. It is called the devil's playground. Have you ever heard that term? Yes. However, social media is a tool that reaches from this end of the earth to the other end of the earth. Mm -hmm. And the devil can use it to bring his message and his purpose all around the globe. Why can I stay here and use it to share the gospel on the other side of the world? Amen. Social media is a tool that connects people that was the intended purpose. So, as I connect to you and share, whether it is by the that, you know, from a Christian life, you're coming back from the same way, the same way you use it to share the gospel. A Christian life, yes, but remember, Jesus is still in charge. We are still in his hands. He will take us through this time of grief. Mm -hmm. So, the form itself is not what is wrong, as my brother here pointed out. What is wrong is how we use it. Mm -hmm. Like any tool, for in the Bible, it's used to bring people closer to God. You see, it's used as a weapon mm. to try to tear down the very church. In the hands of an outsider, can be a weapon to tear down the church. However, in the hands of the church, it's a weapon to bring people into righteousness. So it's not social media that's wrong, it's our use. So I encourage you. As you use social media, remember this purpose is not to divide us, it is to bring us closer together. Mm -hmm. And as we do so, always share the gospel. Amen. Okay. Alright, our scripture reading, 
that was taken from. If we please stand for the scripture reading. Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Why Sherry Leia hit me? Now go with you, Lord, I want this. Amen. 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 There are some people who believe that only demonstrating Christ that should only be on a Sabbath. Mercy. It goes to show that we really believe in God, but we only have a form of godliness. Mm. There's something that I call E-Live. Just so you have the I God and the E Jesus, I call this one the E-Live. What do you mean by E-Live, Brother Sean? It simply means evangelism. Amen. Amen. Yes, you won't find that word in the dictionary. <laughs> but just so we are pretty much aware of evangelism, let us do the evangelism. Amen. Amen. What you want? You know, on Sabbath, when I come to church, I just want to give God all the praise. I just want to give God all the glory because He's indeed worthy to be praised. But you know, during the week at times, we don't have the time to study God's word because we have to rush to work. During the week, we get up and just rush to work. I don't want to really have the time to study. People see me going to work. They, don't, they just see me going to work. I don't have any time. I don't have any time. But when I come to church on Sabbath, I give him all the praise and all the glory. That's the time people see that this man, Sister Howard, going to church on Sabbath. And during the week, she just rush going to church to work. I really don't have any time to study God already in the week. Hold on. Let me see if I can understand this. Saturday, we go to church, shall we go to that, right? Yes. That is the way she will be present, right? Right. But during the week, what's the matter? When you open your eyes and wait, first thing, what's the first thing? Well, you know, the first thing we should do is give God thanks for waking us up. But well, you know, the phone, they're right beside him, and you're thinking, we just get up and look at it. But as you see, I'm going to have a sister before I'm sure you will pray. And before you reach to the phone, you pray. We have our lesson study. It is divided into days. So if work starts at 7 o'clock, we get up at 6 and at lunch, then from 5 o'clock. Read your lesson study first. Read first. That's a good thing. I'm going to read the first. Thank you, brother. Because the Bible, the Bible says, all you should be renewed are your mind and spirit. So, if renew Saturday and face Sunday, Sunday beat you out, tired from Monday, what happens Monday morning? True, you know that. 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 That's true. So, every day we connect with Jesus. Because if it's a way that you can die, and you only connect on Saturdays, in the week, you can't find a way. You hear me like, I'm. Yeah, that's true. And you know, this church has Sunday and Wednesday meeting. When I'm passing, when I'm coming from work on Wednesday and Sunday, I have to stop over here and glorify with them and give God all the praise because it's indeed worthy to be praised. Not only on Sabbath when I come to church, but every day. Let us give God thanks. Amen. That your co workers know the right. And even when they do the wrong, they expect us to do the right. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's your non Adventist friends remind you that the Sabbath is dry now? Mm. So, since we know all of this, the best way to show Jesus to people is a life of evangelism. Amen. As we all know, what we do is way more impactful than what we see. There is a wide gap between knowing and
and doing. The truth, my friends, if we merge the gap between knowing and doing, the church will be filled with capacity. We will not be crusades because people would have seen a life True. that is reflecting the Jesus. True. I wonder what the mission story says. And since we know that God is good, what we will do is to be that missionary for Jesus. When we get a chance to express who God is, be that speaker for Jesus. The truth be told, it's not easy. The truth be told, when we're at school, when we're at work, when we're at play, we tend to focus on being the best at what we do. But did we know that it's God who gives us life and strength to do it? Do we understand that we can do nothing good of ourselves? But since we are unable to do anything of ourselves at this point, my friends, let us magnify our heavenly study. Amen. And that's what happened when we study the word of the Lord. At this time, uh, we will be favored if you may. We will welcome. Hello, my sister. We will welcome each and every one this morning, and to have that will be a special person as they come and welcome you into the house of the Lord. If you come to find problems, mm, you will find it. Mm. If you come to be healed, if you come to be relieved of your burdens, mm. you will be relieved. But in all and all, I tell you, come and see Jesus Amen. because he can be found. Amen. Amen. Please to be in the house of the Lord. What do you say? Amen. And so we, the members of the St. James Federation, we are happy to see you worshiping here with us under the theme, Mission in Action. Let us what? Rejoice. Let us rejoice. Mission in Action, let us? Rejoice. Let us rejoice. And there is something about the word, rejoice, happy, and amen. Let me say those three words at any point in time. We should have a smile on our face. Amen. Amen. So at the end of the morning, mission in action, let us rejoice. All right, and if you're happy and you know it, say amen. And it's a happy summer. Say happy summer to your neighbors. Happy summer to your neighbors. I've been waiting for you to get to Oh, All right, so we welcome you here this morning. And we also welcome the Holy Spirit. Come on, stand. We're going to sing together. Come, let's magnify the Lord, for He is worthy. To be present, be the rock of my
and some people will die wanting to get married. But there is something greater than marriage that only a faith anchored and God can give you, and that is eternal life. Joel prophesied of an invasion. But also Joel promised a restoration. Amen. Amen. Joel promised Amen. a restoration. Because God said that he will not only send the, the former rain and the, the, the uh, God said he will send the former and, and he will send the latter. You know, within the context of farming, the former rain speaks about that autumn rain for some place in September, October, they're about. Mm -hmm. When you are planting, it, it, it prepares everything so that things can grow and, and it promises that the lack of rain, the, the lack of rain, that is the rain that will make right the harvest. And I don't know, maybe we had some rains earlier when I, I, I think we have some great man who's up here in Johnson, you know. The, 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 the lack of rain would help to ripen the fruit, amen? Mm -hmm. but, but, but let me put it in another context for God's people today. The former rain came on the day of Pentecost. When the early Christian church was firmly established, mm. the latter rain is promised to be poured out in the last days as we get ready so much closer to the second coming of Jesus. And, and, and listen to what Joel said, that all that has been eaten by the locust and the palm worm and the canker worm, all of that will be restored. Mm. And that was beautiful song. We shall recover it all. Yeah. We shall reap the harvest God promises. Oh, yeah. And so in as much as we might not have done what we should have done, as long as we repent, oh, yeah. God will do a mighty, marvelous, and miraculous thing for his people. Yeah. When you look at this scenario, I am forced to consider even the children of Israel moving from Egypt to Canaan. You remember? Moses sent 12 spies to view the promised land. Mm -hmm. And it took them 40 days. 40 days! How long did it take them? 40 days. 40 days. And look! Because the people never trusted God. Because the people, God's people, you know, God. Chosen people never trusted God enough to obey Him. The 40 day journey took 40 years. Could it be that the Seventh day Adventist Church is not marching to the promised land because God's people do not trust God enough? I'm suggesting, my beloved brothers and sisters, if you are a Seventh-day Adventist, young or old, then you would trust God to do marvelous things. And even though you might have lost much, God will bless you like he blessed Job to the extent that your end will be more blessed than your beginning. 